Okay, question nine. Um, trace table question. It's a flowchart one. Flowchart's probably slightly more straightforward to do a um, fill in a trace table than perhaps a pseudocode um, trace table question. Best thing to do is just practice a few. Maybe there are so many past paper questions with trace tables in. Just do as many as you can. You'll be absolutely fine. So let's have a look at this one. So we've got up here a the array x one to five used in the flowchart contains this data. So we've got all the elements in the array there. Complete this to complete the trace table using the data given in the array. Now. Um, they've always filled in part of the top row, so it's really important that when you're filling in a trace table, you work from left to right. So they've already filled in part of the top row, so essentially we're in this cell, in this box here, so we're, we're moving from left to right, so let's see what we do first. So after start, we set F to 0 and C to 1, so we need to move down to the next line and do that. Then we've got this decision here, is X, C less than xc plus 1. So um, remember we're looking at c, c is 1. So it's x, x1 less than x2. So is 10 less than 1? No it's not. So we're going to come across here. We're going to assign 10 wherever's in xc. So xc is x1. So we've got, so we're going to assign a t, sorry, whatever's in xc. So 10 is in x1, so we're going to pop that into t. Now we've moved to the end of this row, so we need to move down to the next row to the next bit, which is xc, which is 1. We're going to assign that whatever's in xc plus 1. So xc, which is this one here, which is x1, remember because c is 1. We're going to assign that whatever's in xc plus 1, which is x2. So we're going to move 1 here, okay, into x, position 1. Then we're going to take whatever's in T and we're going to assign that into XC plus 1. So C is 1. C, so 1 plus 1 is 2. So we're at, say, X position 2. We're going to assign that whatever's in T. So we're going to take 10 and we're going to pop it in there. F is going to be assigned to 1. So we need to come along to the end of this row, move down, and we're going to change F to 1. Then we come through here. And we say C assigns C plus 1, so C is going to go to 2. Is C equal to 5? No. So we come back around and we go again. So it is X, so we're back up with this decision. Is X C less than X C plus 1? So C is 2. So is X 2, which is 10 now, is that less than X 3, which is 5? No, it's not, so we come across here. T is going to be assigned whatever's in X C. So um, C is 2, X2 is 10, so we need to assign that into T. Okay, so we've done that. XC is going to be assigned XC plus 1, so remember C is 2. So XC, which is X2, we need to assign whatever's in X3. So we're going to take the 5 and we're going to move it into here now. We need to come down to the next row to do that. So We've taken whatever's in x, c plus 1, which is x3, and we've assigned that into x2. Okay, great, we've done that. Now we need to take whatever's in x, c plus 1, and pop whatever's in t. So remember, c is currently 2. Uh, 2 plus 1, which is x, c plus 1, is 3. So we need to assign whatever's in t into x3. So let's pop. 10 into x3. Now we say f is going to be assigned to 1, so we need to come along here, come down to the next row. I mean, it was originally 1, so it's 1, but I'm just showing that, you know, we, we, even though it's still 1, I'm, I'm popping a 1 in there. Um, c is going to be assigned c plus 1, so c is now going to go to 3. Is c equal to 5? No, it's not, so we come around back up and we go again here is xc less than xc plus 1. So c is 3, xc is 10, is that less than xc plus 1, which is x4, and that's 7. Is 10 less than 7? No, it's not. So we come across here again, and we do t is going to be assigned xc. 
so c is 3 x3 is 10 so we need to pop 10 in to t I mean technically it hasn't changed but um, I think it's just it doesn't hurt whenever you change something even if it's staying the same or if, you, if you're making an assignment I should say just represent that in your trace table right so where were we so we've done um, we've done this xc is going to be assigned to xc plus 1 so c is 3 so um, x3 is um, here this this sum we're going to assign that one over the next c plus 1 so that's actually 7 so we're going to pop actually we need we need to we're on this row so we need to come down to the next row to do that so we need to pop 7 in there okay so um, we're here we're looking at x sorry we're here aren't we sorry xc which is x which is x3 we're assigning that whatever's in xc plus 1 which is x4 so we're taking this 7 and we're popping that into x3 that's what we've done there okay now xc plus 1 we're down here we're going to assign that whatever's in t so remember c is 3 3 plus 1 is 4 so x4 is going to be assigned whatever's in t so let's pop 10 into there okay so assign f to 1 so we need to come along and then down to the next row and we're doing an assignment so I'm going to reflect it in my table even though it hasn't really changed c is c plus 1 so c is going to go to 4 is c equal to 5? no so we come back around again and we do our comparison is xc less than xc plus 1? okay so c is 4 xc is 10 we're saying is 10 less than 11? yes it is so this time we come down here C is going to be assigned C plus 1, so we need to come along this row and we need to come down and we need to <coughs> assign C or add 1 to C, which is 5. Is C equal to 5? <coughs> yes, it is. Is F equal to 0? No, F is currently 1, so that's a no, so we come back up here. Right, so we come back around again and we set f to 0 and c to 1 so I'm going to come along the row from 5 and I'm going to come down to the next row let's set f to 0 and c to 1 is xc less than xc plus 1 so remember c is 1 now so x1 is 1 is that less than xc plus 1 which is x2 so x2 is currently 5 1 is less than 5, so we get a yes there, so we come down here. C is going to be C plus 1, so we need to add 1 to C. Is C equal to 5? No, so we come back around. And we come back around again. Is XC less than XC plus 1? So C is 2, so X2 uh, two is 5. Is that less than XC plus 1, which is X3? So is 5 less than 7? yes it is so we come down here c is going to go c plus one which is going to go to three is c equal to five no so we come back around again let's do our comparison is xc less than xc plus one so remember c is three um x c or x3 is seven is that less than xc plus one which is x4 and that's currently ten seven is less than ten so we have a yes C is C plus 1, this is looking promising, so C is going to go to 4, is C equal to 5? No. So let's come around again, let's do our comparison, is XC less than XC plus 1? So C is now 4, so is X4, which is 10, less than XC plus 1, or X5, which is 11? You bet it is, let's come back down here, it's a yes, C is C plus 1, so C is going to go to 5, is C equal to 5? Yes it is down here is f equal to zero it certainly is yep yeah. so we can stop few um let's have a look at the mark scheme for that so we've got so this bit's already filled in and the way they're going to mark this they've got one mark for each column f c and t so we've got f c and t now you can see um 
in the mark scheme what they haven't done is they haven't completed the trace table um, so you can see what what they've done is they they haven't got gaps where we have so they haven't completed it in sort of the sort of um, using the chronology but you can see where they've set it to zero we've set it to zero where they've set it to one we've set it to one where they've set it to one again so we when you look down the column you're looking at zero one 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 zero we've got zero one one zero so yeah that's all good and same for column C I one two three four five one two three four five so we've got one two three four five one two three four five that's all good and then this one we've got ten 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 so that's all good too and then we've got so you've got the option you've got the ability to get um, we've got a few marks oh sorry two marks for these columns here so two marks with all entries correct or one mark if there's one error so we've got uh, just one in that column 10 and 5 in that column 10 and 7 in that column just 10 in that column so you know we're all good for that and um, I'm pretty sure you figured out that we are doing a um, bubble sort here and we can be a bit more spe specific because if you if you look we've uh, sorted them how we sorted them so we have got one five seven and ten so we've done a bubble sort this is for two marks and that we've done it in ascending order so if we just have a look at the mark scheme for that so bubble sort in ascending order for the second mark okay so hopefully that's helped it's a little bit untidy but you can see the method and how it works um, so I'll stop this one and then we'll do question 10 thank you very much